Football hooligans are expected to behave at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, according to Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani. Victory in Palestine as hunger striking prisoner Khalil Awawde is set for release. Qatar is becoming a hotspot for tourists as more and more travelers flock to the country. And in sports, Morocco has a new boss in town ahead of the FIFA World Cup. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani has stated that hooligans arriving into Qatar are expected to behave during the World Cup. This comes as question marks remain over how Qatar will handle misconduct at the football games, where scenes of violence are common around the world. In an interview, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani stated that he believes hooligans who arrive in Qatar will see that the country itself is a peaceful place, which will in turn encourage them to act peacefully too. Now, Khalil Awawde, a Palestinian who was arrested in December last year by Israeli authorities, is set for a release from prison next month. Awawde went on a hunger strike to protest his administrative detention. This is a common tactic by Israel which regularly detains Palestinians without trial. Awawde's hunger strike lasted more than 170 days, but he broke it with a cup of tea on Wednesday to celebrate his victory. Here in Qatar, the Tourism Authority has revealed that 151,000 visitors traveled to Qatar this July. This is the highest number of visitors to the country since 2017, when the blockade was imposed. GCC countries made up the bulk of the visitors with 62% of all travelers. This was followed by various other nationalities such as India, the United States and the United Kingdom. With just 80 days left to the World Cup, the number of those flocking to the Gulf state is expected to exponentially increase. And finally, Morocco has announced a new head coach to lead the national team into the 2022 World Cup. Walid Regragui signed a four-year deal after former head coach Vahid Halil Hodzic was fired in August for disagreements with the federation. Regragui is a former Moroccan international himself. As as well as former coach of Qatari side Al Duhail. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co.